you're so you're one of the favorites. Kanina during the runway challenge, yes, you made your presence felt during the event earlier. Yes. How do you feel about it? About the positive reception? Uh, I'm still overwhelmed. Uh -huh. so, uh, I thought I did not do well because I stepped on my dress. Uh -huh. on the back of yeah. My South Africa feels that parang you were kicking the hemline of your dress. Yes, but I thought to myself, 200 meters lang to, and I only have few seconds to give my best to my supporters. Kaya nilaban ko talaga. How do you feel that a lot of your supporters went to the event to cheer for you? Parang sumasali ka na talaga sa international competition. I'm so thankful for them. They gave their time. They spent yeah. money to go here. Kaya kahit na talaga na Alam mo, I have a confession to make. Kanina nung rumarampa ka talaga, sorry to burst your bubble, parang naalala ko yung nangyari sa ASNTM. Yung talaga nung ini-introduce kayo, nag-runway challenge din kayo. Of course, then you were already getting positive reviews. Now, now you're also getting one. So how do you feel na yung growth mo? A lot of people, a lot of people are seeing the growth and the maturity that you are displaying in the pageant right now. So from humble na po, pero syempre, I won't stop growing. I still have a lot of room for improvement, especially on the communication skills. I still need to be more comfortable speaking in English para I can be competitive uh -huh. in university. Kaya, uh, with this journey, I don't want to look like I'm a perfect girl for the crowd. Yes. But I want to show my growing, uh, my growth process, yung, um, willingness to grow, to grow, yung willingness to, to do everything that I can, na uh, kahit tumabas ako sa pinaka-uncomfortable na zone ng part ko, gagawin ko para lang magpanalo kayo Miss Universe Philippines at para din sa mga nagsusupport sa akin. How, do, how, how important is for you to be uh, to become authentic in this pageant? To very be... important, 100% very important. Kasi uh, may authenticity, walang ibang girls na mayroon nun eh. It's me. So yun yung alas ko sa kanila. <laughs> I would claim that's my alas because I'm very comfortable with people, I'm very easygoing and if you put me in any uh, different environment, I can easily adapt and I would not lose my sense of self Kaya authenticity talaga is a huge part of uh, winning the crown for me. So do you think do you think that's what Miss Universe is looking at right so. now? Um, yeah. Looking at Catriona and Sosie Bini, of course they want a leader, but they also want someone who can relate to people. Yung vulnerability, sinihiya ay pakita yung vulnerability nila. Uh -huh. Kasi at the end of the day, we're still human beings. We're just normal girls, ordinary girls who can do extraordinary things. So I hope to inspire everyone to do extraordinary things also. You know, I... I want to ask you this, Lynn, because you know I really find your in, your advocacy very interesting. Yes. It's all about sustainable farming. Because, parang this is my first time that a pageant girl is talking about shedding light about yes. that particular cause. I know you grew up in 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 the province, so can you tell us more about it? Why did you take up that cause? Well, there's so many things that I would want to work with agriculture, but I want to start with my community. Because I want my 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 community to be self-sustainable. Hindi lang yung pag nagtanim sila and then they will sell it to buy something else. I want to make sure they have food on the table. And at the same time, hindi lang siya for the farmers. It's also for everyone. I want everyone to learn how to grow your own food. Because that's when you learn how to make a relationship not only with your food, with the environment, and also to the people who put food on your table. So it, I think it's universal. It's not just. It's not just for women empowerment. Tayo lahat kumakain tayo three times a day. Yeah. We won't empower the people who put food on our table. So what are we gonna eat on the following days? So yeah. I really think my advocacy is really important. And speaking of your advocacy, I love that you've been incorporating that through your fashion sense <laughs> and in your OOTDs in the pageant so far. So ano to talagang pinaplano mo talaga? Like, and I, yeah. I mean, I was about to go full on uh -huh. But I also wanted to listen to Mama Jane because most of the time I style myself. I just ask for consultation. And then Mama Jane told me, don't waste your time uh, looking good all the time. So focus on your authenticity, your um, empower, empowering yourself. Mm -hmm. But with agriculture, what you're 
wearing now is part of agriculture. You won't have anything if you mm -hmm. don't have agriculture. So it's not just me, it's also you guys. Wow, I'm very I'm very close to my heart. You know, you're so confident right now. Is this one of the things that <laughs> is totally different? Ang masasabi mong ito yung nagbago sa isang Eliza Manano since 2015 in your first national pageant then to to the reality modeling reality show anong pagbabago or uh, mga pagbabago ang aasahan natin sa isang Eliza Malano in the next few months I hope I can really converse um, well in English. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that I really put on top of my priority. But with the Miss Universe Philippines also, I like it because they want us to speak in our own dialect. So that's also something that I want to showcase, my Visayan yeah. dialect. And also, uh, strong spirit. I will not give up. This time, guys, I uh -huh. promise you. <laughs> ASNTM is the first and the last. But this time, I will go all the way. Kahit na it will not go uh, as what I expected yes. in the end. I, I also want to promise you guys that even without the pageant, I will continue my advocacy. That last two questions. I noticed a super active one as a social media. How do you? Yeah, and then go kind of like. Do you think it's? Um, do you think social media is really? Uh, does, do you think social media plays a crucial role in pageants like Miss Universe? Do you think it's a positive or a negative thing? Well, ultimately. There's, there's always negatives. So, so bashing, uh, ganyan. A lot of people still talk negative about other people. But at the end of the day, um, social media is also a blessing. It's, that's um, that's a way, uh, like a, an avenue, a medium for us to, so, uh, how do you call it, to support other people and to market ourselves. I'm not doing modeling so much, but because of the people who uh, notice me on social media, I connect to a lot of organizations, a lot of brands who gives me a livelihood also. And also with Miss Universe, because most uh, most of the people now, they are connected with social media. Hindi na nga tayo masyari nag So Miss Universe actually is using that to communicate to everyone, to show women leadership and empowerment. So yes, yeah, social media is such a big Last two questions. Yes. Why should you be the next Miss Universe Philippines? I should be the next Miss Universe because I share the crown not only to the farmers but to everyone who uh, made this happen. Um, I want to make sure that the people who support me will feel that my success is also their success. Okay, can you invite all your fans and supporters to rally behind you, to cheer for you? For in your journey here in this year's inaugural Miss Universe Philippines pageant. Hi guys, ako dahil si Eliza Malina Kusab. Please continue supporting me because when you support me, you're also supporting the farmers. Um, please don't stop um, wishing me luck because I yeah. also need that. Because I have to be honest, I get tired sometimes. But then I remember all the hard work na pinapakita niya sa akin to share your love and support with me. Then I'll get energy to Get, get uh, like stand on the bed and do what I want to do. And also, um, um, this is not only talaga for me. It's also for you. So I hope, I hope, I hope talaga na pag nanalo ako, you will, you will feel na you are part of this journey. So thank you talaga. On that note, thank you so much, Eliza. I know, pagod ka na, but thank you for granting this interview. Uh -oh, you did you. so well a while ago. Thank you. Wishing you the best of luck and hopefully tuloy tuloy na to until May 3. Yes, thank you, Sana. Yeah. Sana. Alright, thank, thank you, Eliza. Thank you. Wow.